。大家好，我叫李木子，来自世界经济论坛媒体组。嗯，今天非常欢迎大家来到“一带一路”大数据报告二零一八发布会的现场。呃，今天下午呢，“一带一路”分论坛刚刚结束，也相信大家在收看之后对“一带一路”有了更深的了解，也有了更多的兴趣。那么，我们呃，接下来将一起见证国家信息中心二零一八年“一带一路”大数据报告的发布。呃，首先，请允许我隆重地介绍一下今天到场的各位发布会的嘉宾。呃，推进“一带一路”建设工作领导小组办公室副主任、国家发改委。副主任、国家统计局局长宁吉喆先生，《一带一路》大数据报告二零一八主编、国家信息中心主任程晓波先生，国家发展改革委政研室副主任、新闻发言人孟伟女士。“一带一路”大数据报告二零一八的执行主编、国家信息中心大数据发发展部主任于诗阳先生。那么今天到场的还有国家发展改革委副秘书长苏伟先生、办公厅主任杨英凯先生、西部司巡视员肖卫明先生以及有关司局负责人。呃，非常感谢大家的到来。那么请注意，今天的新闻发布会没有。Thank you for everyone's. Uh, persons, and now please welcome our Vice Chairman, Mr. Ning Jizhe, to give the opening remark. Good afternoon, everyone. And the twenty-third thing in the autumn, uh, President Xi Jinping has started initiative for the road and the belt to change the our uh, global economic governance improvement. And uh, for the last five years, we are trying to work together, share together, and build together. We not only already enlarged our consensus on the road and belt with the surrounding countries, but we also changed the vision into reality. We have from this the our a rough sketch to become to, to to detail the actual painting of this big picture now these has come up with our the consensus is 共商共建共享的核心理念已经写入联合国等重要国际机制的成果文件到目前为止 up to now, we have signed with more than 106 countries and 29 international organizations of 150 cooperation documents to build Belt and Road. So not only one, but more than uh, 100. We say that um, mountains and seas don't separate people who have the same ambition. Five years of practice have shown that building Belt and Road is very um, positive to the trends and, fact and, and the development. The second point we want to make is to um, work with cooperative projects to make demonstrative effect. We have built a framework of including six corridors, six means of communication, multiple with multiple countries and multiple ports. Um, for example, the corridor of China-Pakistan, the railways of China-Laos, China-Thailand, with Hungary and Serbia, have all brought fruit. The high-speed railway of uh, Jakarta, Bandung, and Indonesia was also, is also um, under construction. And the port of Gwadar also is fully operative. My third point is to improve 
the win-win cooperation to achieve a mutual development. We have achieved more than $5 trillion worth of international trade with relevant countries on the Belt and Road, Chinese countries and developed countries and theirs and their companies are also exploring actively with a third party market. And some are already in their countries and operated. Number four is to perfect the service system to support financial support. China has um, approved the guiding principles on financing the development of the Belt and Road and also has accelerated the cooperation between Chinese um, bank and other international uh, financial international uh, institutions. We have also set up mechanisms and international institutions for international disputes. Number five is to pursue inclusiveness, openness, and to enhance cultural exchanges. We say in China that long distance doesn't separate real friends. We are building relevant countries along the road and the belt. We are pursuing the spirit of Silk, the Silk Road to keep our promise, the solemn promise, on building the uh, creating a community of shared future for mankind. So you know that we have three principles of communication on policies, which means that between China and other countries, there is a communication of policies. The second communication is on trade. And then also the communication on financing and on equipment and also on culture. So that's what we call in Chinese the five communication. These five words or five domains, if you want, have to be built, built between China and other relevant countries along the Belt and Road and have to be implemented together. Nash, uh, State Information Center works directly under the um, surveillance of uh, the National Reform and Development Commit Commission. Sorry, D Development and Reform Commission. So we are a very important supporting institution on the build on the construction of Belt and Road. We work with the advantage of big data analysis and resource collection and have been for the uh, over the past three years, consecutive years, um, an integrative, compre uh, comprehensive annual report on normalized monitoring an analysis. And I believe this report of 2018, big data report on One Belt and One Road, will provide very rich information to all of you who are interested in learning about and even in participating in the construction of Belt and Road. I sincerely hope that our information center will keep on working for the construction of Belt and Road on data analysis and collection to produce more high quality products and service to make their part of contribution on the international collaboration on the Belt and Road construction and welcome to all of you, media, friends, journalists, to keep on reporting on our practices on the Belt and Road construction. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ning. Now I'd like to have Mr. Cheng Xiaobo. Our guests, uh, media friends, our officials, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for you to take time to attend our press conference. On the second floor, we heard about this uh, road and the belt uh, forum, and we heard the guest speech.
And uh, we also felt that uh, since President Xi Jinping had uh, this initiative, either it's between the countries or it's between the enterprises, and the consensus have been built and the more results have been shown. And the uh, countries are different from one another. And uh, in terms of our economy, political in, uh, situation, and the resources, and uh, based on that, how are we going to uh, make the decisions? And uh, for our center to try to cooperate together with the the national initiative and to help the other departments' involvement to, and their decision making. Starting 2015, we started our work and we are undertook the construction of the official website of the Road and the Belt. Also, we set up the big data report. Uh, working group, and also we set up the uh, Ch Digital China Research Institute. We also have a department for the big data uh, established that in the last, uh, third, last three years, we have done three major events. And, and the one is that we held the uh, official website for promoting the China Road and the Belt construction. And this Road and Belt official website was online last year, May, and it already been listed as our one of our uh, achievement and uh, to try to do the official publishment of the regulations and uh, to give introductions and uh, to give to carry out all the contents, allow other people to, uh, to participate in this initiative. And that this website is different from the one that's in China. We already have six language versions from Arabic, Spanish, French, and the Russian, and uh, also uh, English, these six languages, and the Chinese. And Second, that we have done this road belt big data decision service mechanisms based on our center's data collected and our advantages on the big data. We set up the index analysis and uh, also this uh, based on the different regions, industries, countries. Uh, provinces, cities, and the projects on those uh, dimensions, we came up with the index indices and uh, to show the potential. And uh, this big data, our center, has already submitted se more than 70 reports in the past. This is the third year consecutively we have published the big data annual report since 2016. We have collecting uh, the, the related information, and uh, we are trying to analyze, evaluate, and reflect the results achieved. And we're trying to come up with uh, create a brand with viscosity and with authority and with a good as a benchmark and have received a good attention and a good feedback. This is the five-year anniversary since the Road and the Bell Initiative was launched. And we're trying to continue to follow our progress. And we are about to release the uh, 2018 report. And uh, compared to the one two years uh, ago, it will be more based on big data and on different angles with a lot of indices and the many dimensions. I will not go into the details. Mr. Yu Shi Yang will tell us more after. In addition to our annual report, we already have a lot of the connections with the media. For example, CCTV for Xinhua News and the 
people's data, and we have done a lot of uh, news products. Maybe you've seen in the different columns, like the our uh, road and the belt, uh, our uh, other channels and the columns, like our digital uh, golden block and the five years anniversary of the road and belt, etc. And uh, based on the under the leadership of the uh, state information center and uh, our the leading construction uh, office under their guidance will try to build a better brand and uh, to reflect the level of the china think tank thank you for everyone's participation thank you for the uh, leading office and for their support thank you everyone Thank you very much, Mr. Chen. And now I'd like to invite Mr. Meng Wei. Mrs. Meng Wei, um, dear guests, dear media friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm very happy to have witnessed the forum and to have listened to the introduction by Mr. Ning and Mr. Cheng. Um, this, sum this summer Davos forum, we are in this forum, we are publishing the report, and I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, this afternoon, I was at other sessions, and I listened to He Yunfeng and Mr. Ning Jizhe, who gave us a brief introduction of the five-year practices and achievements, which makes me feel very inspired. It the One Belt, One Road initiative not only helps us to construct a community of shared future for mankind, but also propose a Chinese way of proposition in this time of instability, uncertainty, and world economic warming up. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that we need to broaden our communication channels to enhance our support to the Belt and Road Initiative. We have uh, opened, for example, uh, a website, very exhaustive a website to uh, give you enriched information. And this channel includes also the annual report that you're going to see. And the second is that to implement and to share the insights and reflections using big data collection, big data analysis, in order for people to read a very deep, um, very deep articles on that. And number three, I think we need to um, build a very rapid and very uh, easy way, this channel, to create a better path between media and government, between media and public so that there's transparency on understanding and to develop their own potential. And last but not least, I'd like to thank all the media friends for your understanding, for your support. And in the coming years, I would like to uh, propose an even more enhanced communication with you to construct uh, our Belt and Road Initiative. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask Mr. Yu Shi Yang uh, to introduce the new book. Uh, distinguished Vice Chairman, Mr. Ning Jizhe, our panelists, our friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Next, uh, allow me on behalf of our uh, report working group to give you an introduction. This, uh, one, it's under the uh, guidance of the Roden Bell Construction Working Leadership Group under and uh, being published by the commercial uh, press done by the State Information Center. This one is a comprehensive annual report, and it's the third year for the report. We'll try to do three uh, things. One is uh, use the data. Sec we are about uh, uh, cross-border e-commerce, uh, tourism, uh, investment, trading, and uh, also the internet information. All of them are being collected, and the more than 50 billion 
uh, date lines of data has been collected, and it has uh, connected to 71 countries, to 31 provinces, and, and autonomous region or municipality directly under the central government in China. More than 1,000 think tanks, more than 2,400 medias, and uh, uh, number three, it's about our index evaluations and about different. Uh, our uh, investment environment and our uh, participation indexes and the cooperation indexes, etc. And we have uh, three parts, chapters. Number one, it's about the results for the last five years, and the achievement is good. And we have seen that big data shows that uh, also foreign media and the internet uh, users are uh, continue to stay. Uh, pay high attention to the Road and Belt project, and uh, this our from uh, 2013 we have increased from 16.5 percent to the 2017 23.7 percent in terms of the positive uh, emotions that we have uh, surveyed, and uh, this we have to have bigger and bigger more friends, and uh, this. We already have covered more than 100 countries, including Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Europe. And the second chapter, it's about our international country cooperation index. From the international cooperation angle, try to evaluate our inter our connecting uh, cooperation results, and it has continued to grow. 2018, the index is at 47.12, compared to 2017 and 2016 has been has increased 2.01, and the 3.57 is uh, correspondingly. And uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, and other con five countries are the top five. Russia has been number one for the last three years. Uh, for the policy exchanges, China with Russia, Philippines, and Cambodia are having the best index scores. And for the infrastructure connecting, China with Asian countries have the most direct flights added, and the China, uh, uh, East, Asia, East Europe, and the Mid Asia has the, been the most destination for the China Railway trades and for the trades 2017 uh, China's compared to 2016 13 point four percent growth and uh, better than the overall China uh, international trade growth at 5.9 percent and uh, especially the most is with the mid Asia for the our uh, capitals uh, we are the the best countries are Russia Malaysia uh, also, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, and the, uh, Dubai, and uh, now it has also becoming these countries are becoming all the Road and Belt country becomes the destinations for the foreign students and for the tourism. And the number two, it's about the participation index. We have these one showing 2018 index is 61. Percent the Guangdong is third year consecutively ranked number one in terms of participation index. Shandong number two, and the Sichuan and the Hubei province got into the top ten for the first time. And the Henan, Shandong, Shanghai, these areas has the best policies. So for Guangdong, Liaoning, Zhejiang has the best infrastructure, and the Shandong, Tianjin, Zhejiang has the best economic cooperation. And uh, in terms of uh, People to people exchange. Uh, the Western region is doing the best. Uh, Hainan province is doing the best in terms of international influences. Number three, index, index, third index is about the uh, country investing environment index. And uh, based on our evaluation, Singapore, New Zealand, Korea, and uh, Russia, and uh, 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 and the uh, United Arab Emirates are ranking the number five, and they have shared some common 
properties that they are, have the uh, stable political environment and the uh, economy is strong, good business environment. And finally, to China, we have seen that the, the top five uh, countries uh, are Estonia, Latvia, and uh, Slovenia in terms of uh, political environment. In terms of economic environment, we have uh, Vietnam, India, and Bangladesh. We are doing the best. Uh, in terms of the, uh, in terms of GDP growth and our exchange rate and inflation indexes, and in terms of uh, friend, friendliness to China, the top five countries are the Thailand, Russia, Pakistan, New Zealand, and uh, Ethiopia, and also China with the Thailand has the best uh, culture. Uh, cooperation level. And the number four, we are evaluating the digital road at the bell smoothness. And uh, we have this index overall being 45.55. And the uh, number one is the biggest score for the country is at the 85. And the lowest score for a country is uh, 13. And uh, this uh, digital road at the bell has created a Potential, for example, Lithuania, uh, Israel, and Latvia. Although they are very developed, but their connecting and the smoothness with China is at a low level. So they have great potential. Everyone here are from the media. We also have a Road and Bell Media Attention Index from this uh, media communication angle to see our achievement in this area. And the uh, China Daily and International Business Daily, China Social Science Daily, and the 21st Century Economy. These newspapers and the magazines has already done a lot of work. And the People's Net, China Net, Guangming Net, China Economy, well, Global Net, China Youth Net, uh, China Daily Net, uh, China Youth Online, and the Xinhua News, and uh, the other ten, more than 10 of them accounts for 63% of the articles uh, published and released. Again, thank you. And uh, now it's about uh, our third chapter. It's analyzing the Chongqing, Hainan, Shanxi, Guangxi, and the Dalian regions. Uh, time is limited. I'll not go into details. If you want to know more, please read our report. In the future, we'll continue to under the guidance of the Road and Belt Construction Working Leadership uh, Office and uh, try to continue to do our contribution. That's the end of my report. Thank you. Thank you for you. I would like to uh, thank Mr. Ning Xizhe, Mr. Ning Xiaobo, from uh, President of State Information Center and Vice Chairman of National Development and Reform Commission to inaugurate the launching of a new book. So where shall we take the picture? OK, well, let's do another one. Thank you very much for your attention. Now let's, um, the, ne the next step is the closure of the press conference of the annual report on Welton Road Initiative.